I am walking around talking to myself, not working as usual. Well, you know, being a YouTuber wasn't a stretch for me because I walk around and talk to myself anyway, so now I just hold a camera while I'm doing it. It's uh, really nothing changed other than it's on film now. See what I get done today? Mm, debating. I think I'll start under the car. Yeah. Get the worst part of the job knocked out. look bad when they come out of the washing machine you know it's like it takes a day or two for them to get fitted right i got a really big head too these things fit pretty tight but that's why i don't normally wear hats but welding caps seem to be made for big guys you know big heads but uh anyway there we go welcome to buck don't know much um i'm home couple days yesterday we had to go to Houston to get that guy girl I don't know but uh, it's just an RT but it is a step up from what we had for the six cylinder which showed in a previous video or I will uh, about my wife rear-ending me well it ended up totaling the cars like $13,000 worth of damage or repair at a body shop and yeah i guess with the i guess the way they do it they take whatever the repair is and what they can get money wise for the salvage car um and if that's more than what the car is worth then you know they total it so it got totaled i wish i had the car i would i, I would love to i think that six cylinder it's like 305 horsepower and those uh challengers and chargers um would do great in a cruiser like this i don't know that's just me in it and i know it's dodge and whatever i i don't really give a shit i just want an engine and drivetrain that performs you know it gets 25 miles a gallon 305 horsepower i think it would work great in a car like this anyway where we're at i'm home for a couple days uh kind of in between of going from one job to another. We finished one well, moving to the next one. So I'm home for a couple of days. Uh, we'll be going to the rig Tuesday, I believe. But uh, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of just maintenance, painting, cleaning, all that done. So when I get home, hopefully I'll be able to bolt. That's my goal is to be able to bolt all this rear end back together um leaf springs I, I believe i've got everything i need for them uh rear end uh, i'm debating i'm probably going to go ahead and put the axles back in i'm draining the oil out of it now i'm not going to do like exit 45 which kudos to him um i would love to tear this open and rebuild it all just to you know say i've done it but gotta get this car on the road yeah today and i don't know what i'll video but it is just going to be i'm gonna get under the car and uh finish prepping priming cleaning grinding um you know all this area where the rear end is going to go so that it's easier to access right now so go ahead and knock that out before i put all that stuff back in there get it all Painted, primed, undercoated, whatever I'm gonna do. Oh, that sucker right there. So, this is the only broke bolt I have broke. That doesn't make sense. On this car, I'm pretty certain. Uh, which, I think that's pretty good, one bolt. There was no way to, these are the uh, rear leaf spring bracket bolts. Um, and they were tight 
And this one right here, I mean, it was backing up. You can see it's out quite a bit of ways and then the head just finally snapped off. A little too tight. There wasn't a good way to, um, well, I say I probably should have listened to John on Joe Arnon's channel and screwed it back in some. That method does work. Uh, even when you can't clean the other side of the thread, you know, just kind of going back and forth. We'll prevent this, but, uh, you know, I muscled up on it one too many times and it snapped off. So now I got to figure out, of course, you know, I got my screw removal kit. That is a pretty big bolt. Um, probably, I think that's a 3 8 thread. So it's pretty big. Yeah, I'm going to try just hopefully put a pair of vice grips on it. Maybe it'll keep turning. Um, that's what I'm going to try first and then I'll go to the bolt removal, screw removal kit. We will see, but uh, before I do anything, I might as well, something I got to get out, might as well do that. But I'm looking under here, uh, this is not going to be fun. Oh, not going to be fun at all. Cleaning and A lot of this isn't bad, or really none of it's bad, but uh, it's just dirty. That's what, that's what I'm debating, the best way to actually clean under here. Because, I, you know, I want to clean before not necessarily do a whole lot of grinding. I mean, there's a few spots where there's some scaly rust I need to get. You know, like this bumper bracket, things like that. I'm not quite as concerned about those parts right now. Um more up in this wheel well area where I want to get cleaned and painted and ready for the rear end. I do kind of, I don't know, kind of want to remove this exhaust all the way. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, because I'm thinking these would be easier to get in without the rear end in the way, but pretty sure you could maneuver them back in here without it with it in there i mean so let me quit talking get to work uh i think i'm just gonna get a water hose and a brush maybe some soapy water kind of hit this <clears throat> this is this is an area of concern which maybe uh some of you car guys can comment on you see the fender is not rusted at all i put a little primer on it um, but this inner, I don't know what you call this inner panel, uh, wheel housing is rusted away on this side. It's not on the other side. There is a little spot on the other side. Uh, I think maybe about a couple of inches, but it doesn't like this runs from here to here. And I mean, obviously, I could cut it out and weld it and fix it. The problem with that is the heat's going to damage the paint on this side. Which I'm trying to avoid doing body work because, I mean, the paint looks really good on this car. Uh, the fenders and everything, there's no no rust on them, you know. And look, I, there may be some Bondo work, body work. As far as I can tell, though, this car hasn't had any of that. Um, you know, it looks like an original paint job to me, but uh, could be wrong. It is a 60-year-old car. There's no telling. But, uh, yeah, so if anybody's got any ideas on what to do, I mean, for now, I'm just going to drive it like this. I'm going to prime it, encapsulate it, and uh, I'll just kind of keep an eye on it. I may lather it down with some grease as one uh my only comment people got me to comment give me some comments i'm i i would love to uh hear hear what y'all had to say i mean i learn reading comments a lot of times as much as uh, watching other people's videos go down to the comments and get some good uh information a lot of times so uh leave some comments please but um yeah let me know how y'all would go about this because my current plan of action is to just get some primer paint, rust encapsulator, whatever on it. Maybe spray some uh, lithium grease on it or something like that. Kind of coat it uh, and 
move forward and just keep an eye on it. Got the master painter cleaning parts, getting ready for paint. We got lots of components. These still gotta be cleaned. It's the AC and heater box. Um, but yeah, this is all I'm not cleaning these. I do gotta get these wheel hubs off. I gotta get these studs pressed out. Get these off, cleaned up, ready to reuse. We got new rotors, so we'll be taking them off. But uh, yeah, I need to get busy on that. Oh, before they rust all the shit. Yeah. Did we paint that already? I mean, I think it could use like a coat or two more, but. We might have painted that. Yeah, hit it again. What I am working on. Oh, I am gonna go ahead and remove this exhaust. There are just some places where I welded and I um, need to be able to get a grinder to. That's the main reason for going ahead and taking it off. I have unbolted it from the engine, from the exhaust manifold. I got, there's some uh, cross member bars down there. It's just one, I think if I undo one end, I'll be able to kind of pull it out of the way and let the exhaust come down. It's uh, kind of keeps it from, uh, well, it's not the intention of it, but it gets it to where the exhaust won't come out because the exhaust just hits those bars down you can see them down there um one of them anyway so i'm gonna unbolt it go ahead and pull this exhaust out well there it is the exhaust out of the car so this wasn't easy to get out um you know all in one piece big and long not a lot of room under the car, but it came out. Some lady's walking her golden doodle. Fucking golden, golden doodle? Out there. You should go beat her up. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit golden doodles. Not a sick extra on them. <laughs> I don't see a golden doodle. She's walking How do you know the golden doodle? Oh my god, that might be an actual poodle. Maybe. No, uh, standard poodles are uh, big dogs. They're hunting dogs. That's what, yeah. I mean, that's what they're intended for, but people like shave them and fuck them all up and make them. Even about a dog? That looked like a regular poodle to me, hey, which... Ass. You, like, run up to her <laughs> no. <laughs> Just leave her alone with her stupid dog. It's really stressing me out. I don't... Yeah. <clears throat> what? Well, not you. That exhaust. Like, the fuck am I going to do with it now? Set in my bedroom. It's like that is like project number one I have to work on pretty much. Man. Terrible. Ugh, terrible. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> oh Lord. Kids. No effort. Just kidding. She's done a lot today. Cleaning all these dang parts. I still haven't got to the rear end or drive shaft. That was what I was planning on doing first today. Excuse me. She got the uh, AC box and heater box cleaned and painted, ready to reassemble and all the kind of miscellaneous parts. There's the air conditioner cover or vent. Uh, all kinds of parts today clean and painted uh, got some more up here in here just uh, kick plates and random 
covers, you know, inside the dash, all that stuff's painted, ready to go. Uh, I'm going to put it, I put, I've been putting all these parts in the attic just to get them out of the way. Be fun getting them all out, but, uh, you know, got lick room, uh, and they won't get damaged up there, so it's all good. These look like they're pretty close to being done, um, and they look a lot better than they did. Good job, Carly. Thank you. What's about the paint? What are those called? I don't, know. I don't really either. That's a strut. That's like a tie rod or sway bar linkage or something. I don't know. Something for the steering. Anyway, good job. More parts. Ugh, don't even like looking at that. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Okay. I mean, I know what I'm going to do with it eventually, but <clears throat> for the time being. Anyway, that's what I'm working on. Got the exhaust out, of course, and I am uh, just coming under here, priming. I seam sealed all under the car uh, where it needed it, and now I'm priming the metal, uh, all the sheet metal that I added. And uh, when the primer dries, I'll come back and uh, put some rubberized coating and then some kind of black paint on top of everything. I don't know if I'm going to do the east wood all under the bottle side, bottom side, or just use uh, you know, some black rattle can paint of some sort. You know, probably Rust-Oleum. I don't know. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is do east wood on the inside, east wood on the rear end, drive shaft, control arms, shit like that. See how much I have left. And uh, if I have enough left, then I'll probably do it under the underside of the car. So, see felt like I didn't get much accomplished yesterday, but uh, we did get, Carly did get a lot of parts cleaned and painted. She did a good job cleaning these up and painting them.